Well, let's be honest, we knew it was coming. I mean, we did Warlord, we did Samurai's Destiny, it, it, was, it was inevitable we were going to be doing Demon Siege as well. As much as I was kind of dreading the idea of doing this, because some of the bosses in particular can be very, very difficult with just a regular weapon, I have been also weirdly anticipating it, given that, honestly, we did rather well when uh, th with Samurai's Destiny, so I will admit I was a little emboldened by that. Right, we know the drill. Switch to normal sword. I will admit, I did try and do this early, like, I don't know, like half start. I started about maybe 20 minutes, half an hour ago. And somehow I already. By the time I reached um, Mount Hiei as Jacques, I'd already forgotten what I was doing and I was just on autopilot. So I. So I started using Engine when I wasn't supposed to. So this is basically just take two. I don't, I don't need to kill these guys, so it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Or at least it would be fine if you didn't keep blocking the door. Nobunaga's got a good bouncer. Ranmaru, I am fairly confident with. He is not a hard boss. Easy to crit, easy to... And you can bring him down a single chain. I mean, one of my what-ifs literally has what I think may be the fastest time ever to kill Ranmaru. Chained off of his first attack and got the kill. Kind... Kind of like that. My shoulder clicked on me. Ow. But that's what I mean, Ranmaru is not hard. Once you get used to crits, Ranmaru is the easiest boss in the entire series. But in all honesty, I think that is kind of the point. The entire point is he is supposed to be easy to just kind of demonstrate the massive gap between himself and Samanosuke. Obviously, needless to say, we are going to be skipping most of the cutscenes. Ignore these because it's a normal sword run slash only whip run, so we're... If I remember this time, we're not using any of the only weapons if we can help it. I suppose I should address again the silence. Kind of like, in pretty much in the same manner as I did when when I um, did my only two run. At the very least, I am glad I got my Kaijiro what if done before the end of the year. Which, speaking of which, I probably should have opened with this. I hope everyone had a fantastic Christmas and a lovely new year as well. I didn't even mean to... I didn't even mean to crit that, but I'll take it. But yeah, I would have um, gotten started on my next what if a lot earlier. You know, ignoring the fact that obviously I was taking a break for the holidays, which I imagine everybody should, to be perfectly honest. Unless, you know, that's the kind of stuff you do to wind down anyway, in which by all means, go for it. But um, once the holidays died down, I had planned to get, you know, get straight back to it. But I ended up spending the majority of January a little on the ill side. There was a really bad um, chest cold running around. And normally illnesses don't hit me that hard. I have a pretty damn good immune system. And it, it hit me for a couple of weeks at least. So I had to focus on recovering from that, unfortunately. But I'm better. I'm good now. I'm back to it. I have started um, another what if. The script is done. It's a lot shorter. That is the wrong input. It is a lot shorter than our last one, which is probably for the best, because the last one was nearly three hours long. Bear in mind, I started working on that technically while I was on holiday in September. Well, at least I, that's when I started, like, things started coming to me, you know, kind of vague ideas that I was able to build off of once I got back. But yeah, I worked on that for, for months just to get it finished. It's uh, probably the longest I've ever spent on a single video. But yeah, this one's going to be a much shorter one, which is which is which is which is nice. It's nice to not have to do massive projects every single time. The script is finished, um, so I just need to start on the voiceover, then get the editing done, which hopefully shouldn't take as long now. And I do have other projects in the works as well. One or two of which I'm really really excited to do. One of them is definitely going to take quite a long time to get finished, just because of basically what I need to wait for in order to be able to get it done. Depending on when this video goes out, I imagine this is going to go out before my what if. I don't want to spoil it, I, I kind of spoil it in my what if anyway on, my, on one of my little closing remarks, but... But yeah, it is something I've wanted to do for ages, and uh, it looks like it's going to be possible soon, so that's nice. Right, brainstorm. Let's go! Let's just get rid of his guns. Okay, ah, the rockets are the biggest worry I have right now. 
Okay, guns are down. We have um, we have only mode if we need it. Ah, okay, no, he's going full Beyblade. Let's be honest, that the original like late '90s, early 2000s Beyblade opening that that is one of the hardest intros to um, to a show that I've ever heard. Ah, I'm stupid. Some of the hardest riffing. I I need to learn to play that. Then again, I need to I need to pick up my guitar again. I haven't grabbed that in ages. I think I just spent so much time working on videos that um, I never I just didn't have the time to pick my guitar up. So and now I think the interest is kind of just lost a little bit. Not fully. It's just finding the time on top of everything else I'm doing, which is my own fault. I mean, I talked about this um, when I was doing my only only two run. Ow. I try to work on too many things at once and get overwhelmed, so I need to fix that. It would be nice if he didn't keep Beyblading every three seconds. Oh, there we go. Got him. Brain's turned down. That is an awkward as hell fight, even when you're playing normally. So I'm just glad we got through it. I know we're going to have to fight him again near the end of the game, but um, hopefully we should be okay. Okay, Jacques section. I know there's a couple of points where we need Enja to cut down the plants, so hopefully I will remember this time to switch back to the, you know, only use it to break the plants and then switch straight back. Like I said, this is take two, specifically because I was stupid enough to forget to do that. Suddenly now we have bullets after he just said he had no ammo. I mean, yes, I, I know we didn't watch the cutscene, but still. Ow. Okay, fine, let's just chuck rocks at him. And that killed him. I will say, I think I'm more confident when it comes to crits when I'm playing... Um, bait, when I'm playing either Warlords or Samurai's Destiny. There are a lot of enemies in this game. I am not good when it comes to critting. I would say the bosses as well, but when it comes to Warlords, there's only I think you can only crit one boss, and that's uh, Speed 4 Marcellus. I could be wrong. I've never seen anyone land a crit on any other boss in that game. If someone can prove me wrong, I am. I welcome it. I'm probably just going to use the blue vest, just because, with the exception of the black vest, which I'm not going to use, I'm I'm going to unlock it just for the sake of the true ending, but I'm not going to use it because it trivializes the entire game, even though it doesn't work on bosses. Something that, funny enough, the black necklace in Onimusha 2 does work on bosses. I feel like they nerfed that intentionally because... You know, there's got to be some form of challenge. Oh dear. Fighting these things here is honestly a lot more awkward than it needs to be. In fact, fighting these things in general is just awkward. And he's gone! <laughs> I will say I'm definitely glad to see how well this game runs on, on an emulator now. Because um, if we remember, Onimusha 3 had a fair few issues not too long ago when it comes to emulation. But nowadays, it runs with... Pretty much none, no issues whatsoever. I'm not sure if there are any issues left. I could be wrong. If there are, they are negligible at worst. So, I can say that this is the definitive way to play the game now, which is nice. It is a shame, also, in a sense, considering it would be nice if we got an official version. Because every Onimusha game that isn't Warlords is stuck on old hardware. Even Tactics you can't get anymore because the Wii U shop has closed down. I mean, I'm lucky. I I got a copy a couple of years before that closed down. Ah, oh, I thought I hit him as well. Oh, there's another one. Ah, oh, there's two of them. Right, okay. I am more confident with Deflect than I am True. Okay, right. Let's um, let's break these plants while we're here. Hang on, no. Let's deal with, let's deal with, ah, let's deal with the three eyes first. Okay, a little annoyed that that chain didn't work, but whatever. But yeah, it it would be nice if we got an official version. But to be perfectly honest, I'm not actually that surprised that we don't. And I've had this conversation with a few people, admittedly. The problem with 
um, Onimusha is that despite the fact that it is a heavily respected franchise, I mean, Warlord um, Onimusha was honest was actually a um, an inspiration for the likes of the original God of War. But um, as highly respected a franchise as it is, it just doesn't have the fan base for Capcom to have much faith as much faith in it as you know they would like. You know. You know, Onimush is one thing, but it's no Monster Hunter, it's no Resident Evil, it's no Street Fighter. I mean, their tactic of um, just releasing an old game with no fanfare, I think even they know that that was just a really stupid idea. So, that game didn't sell as well as they'd hoped, and that's entirely their own fault. But at the same time, it's not hard to see that Onimush's fan base is not as big as we'd like it to be. So... It's hard to justify spending money on re-releasing a game that they're not confident that is going to sell as well as it should. Okay, you know what? I got the chain on the gacha, that's all I need. But yeah, that, coupled with the fact that Onimusha 2 and 3 will also incur licensing fees for the likenesses of, you know, Takeshi Kaneshiro, Jacques Blanc for Jacques, um... I forget his name, but um, the, the the guy whose model who Jubei is modelled after, um, a late um, a late and highly respected actor, I believe. I imagine there's licensing fees to use his likeness as well. So that's an additional cost that Capcom will have to pay if they want to re-release these games. Which basically means these games need to sell even better just for them to break even. And they can't do that unless they know for a fact then that these games are going to sell. I mean, fair dues, yes. We got the uh, we, we got the Netflix anime, which I have seen has garnered mixed reception. I mean, I, I myself gave it a 5 out of 10. The action is good. And honestly, some of the characters are good as well. But... Um, the anime is a good series, but it's not a good Onimusha series, and that's what ruined it for me. If it were its own IP, it would have been fine. But the fact that it's an Onimusha series bothers me, because it just feels like it kind of ignores a lot of the games existed, lore-wise. And, and we know me, I am the lore man. I mean, I'm... Oh, nice, okay, Samonosuke actually got a crit... Get some medicine, I'll take that, thank you. I'm definitely going to be needing these healing items. This game kind of showers you in um, talismans as well, which they are going to be necessary for late game bosses. Ah, my brain's shutting down. I, I just did that, what am I doing? There we go, okay. It's been a while, so I forgot what the hell I was doing for a second. That is one thing as well that I have been kind of half working on and I'm still not certain whether or not to try it but um, I've been kind of considering doing my own little fan rewrite of the anime and to be honest I think I feel like I've got a, f a few good notes and a few a few good plot points that I think could work and as much as I think I I'm surprisingly not that bad with the what ifs um, I I don't know whether or not um, I could make that work. So I mean, if I mean if that's something that um, you guys wouldn't mind seeing, then uh, then you know, absolutely. Cause, you know, I've I've been kind of giving a lot of crap to the to the Netflix anime, but you know, why don't why don't I write something you know instead? So oh, I you can actually grab him and shoot him. Oh dear. Ah, damn it. Okay, I thought I could get some distance. Okay, I... I... Ah, no, I backed into him. I tried to grapple, but I didn't have enough time. Okay, right. This went downhill pretty fast. I, I thought I messed up my inputs there and just... Didn't grapple. Okay, come on. We, we should nearly be done. I shouldn't have gone for that fourth hit. I'm getting greedy. Oh, there we go, we got him. Not the smoothest ride, but we got there in the end. Right, it's off to the sewers we go. Oh dear, I can see the ground, <laughs> I can see underneath the world. I might ask down to the black bars, because we've got a we've got a patch going that 
gets rid of the black bars, which is how we have the full screen. But those black bars also block out a couple of things that we're not supposed to see. Right, did I actually... I didn't use the power jewel. Why does she take so long to aim and fire? It's like she doesn't know what she's doing. <laughs> you missed! Ah. These guys are really awkward to crit, I've found. Never mind! I've always found them just awkward to crit because the timing is so awkward with their attacks. Why do I say anything? I feel like whenever I say something, it's grounds for whatever game I'm playing to prove me wrong. I know this, like I said, this is a normal sword run, so obviously we are going to prioritize our armor and gauntlet as opposed to our weapons. But we are going to need to upgrade Tenso and Kugo one each because they, there are level two doors that we need them for. We don't need to upgrade any of Jacques' weapons, so that's fine. Oh, there we go. This is what I mean. Ooh, actually chained it as well. Oh, got them both. On the uppercut as well. I'm surprised. Okay, I'll take that. Grab the Eco Spirit. I haven't even been doing this, have I? Yeah, Red Vest is not brilliant. I mean, I suppose it can be good if you just want to farm souls. But even then, it's not ideal. There we go. That's all we wanted. Entirely unnecessary, but I wanted it anyway. I can still remember the first time I played this as a kid. I couldn't even reach this far. The code locked door was something I was stuck on as a kid for so long because I couldn't work it out. And I'm going to be honest, I never did work it out the proper way. What I ended up doing was just going through the entire... Just going through every combination until I finally got it right, and then I just remembered it from then on. That's literally how I know. I never worked it out. I know how you work it out now, because, um... Where is it? The file, uh... There you go, look, left. Number of chairs, number of cassette decks, and number of monitors. But for some reason, like, this, for some reason, never really... I just read it, and it's just, like, what is this on about? What does this even mean? Bear in mind, I was nine years old, so... I wasn't the smartest, um, I, I wasn't exactly the sharpest tool in the shed, so to speak. Um, I don't know if this is going to be enough to upgrade Tenso. Okay, no, we're fine, we're fine. That's all we need for Tenso. I do reckon the likes of Vega Donna won't be too difficult. She's not too tough a boss, to be perfectly honest. Nope, not happening. The final Ranmaru fight is probably going to be tough as hell. Though, funny enough... The first Gemma Ranmaru fight is easy. I have crit him to death with Heihachi. At least that means we get the extra power jewel. Ah, no, she blocked my crit! Power jewel, lovely. We're going to be needing as many of these as we can get. At least, unlike um, Samurai's Destiny, they're not... Um, they're not RNG-based. Either way, we're done with Semenoski. Now we can move on to Jacques. I have always loved the OST... For Sakai. This particular track, it's... I know, it, it's, a, it's a weird mix of peaceful and haunting. I love it. So I'm fairly certain... I've seen conflicting reports, and I've never actually tested this out. I'm fairly certain you need to get every um, vest to get the proper ending. I initially thought you just needed the black vest, but I imagine you need to get all of them. At some point, I need to test that, but we're going for the proper ending this time so I know I don't need to I just want to I just want to get one chain on these guys there we go I'm satisfied that's all I wanted oh I I stubbed his toe I'm only realizing now there's no door blocked off by a fire seal for Enja I was gonna say there's one there's one seal each for all of Samonoski's weapons but Kuga has two seals Enja's the only one that doesn't have one yeah, we can focus all of Jacques' souls just on his defense and gauntlet. That's all we need. This guy just doesn't want... He did not want to attack. He had no confidence whatsoever. He, he's not looking confident either. He is just standing there and taking it. 
Nice, that's what we need. Nice, okay. That uppercut, which is kind of telegraphed, is really easy to deflect. Oh no, it's the only... <laughs> For some reason, this is pre-recorded or pre... I was going to say pre-rendered, but it's also using the in-game engine. I don't know why this doesn't get upscaled. Obviously, it's not noticeable when you're playing it on the regular console, but... It's a weird thing. Okay, first talisman. There we go, lovely. Right, we've already upgraded Tenso, so that's okay. And there's the green vest. I think the green vest is honestly kind of naff. Outside of one very specific instance, and that is when you're playing as Michelle and use the assault rifle. Okay, no, no, I'm thinking of the yellow vest. Yeah, the yellow vest is honestly fantastic for Michelle because it draws a red soul out every time you land a hit, and the assault rifle lands a lot of hits. So that's a lot of souls you can draw out. I think what I will say is that in spite of, you know, doing doing this challenge you know this is the third time we've done a challenge like this it's not happening for Genma Onimusha because the controls are a little bit different so it takes time for me getting used to it I mean I recently started replaying it a couple of days ago because honestly I enjoy the increased difficulty now mostly because I'm used to how a Yame works so I, I can kill a Yame multiple times in a single playthrough because you can kill a Yame before the end of the game it doesn't get rid of her permanently, but you can get rid of her for a while. But yeah, the difficulty increase is a bit much to do a normal sword-only run, to be perfectly honest. Especially because I'm pretty certain um, every enemy has buffed HP just by default. There we go. Alright, well, upgrade this to level 2 uh, pretty much as soon as we get it. And then we can just focus now purely on the armor and gauntlets. Ah! No! Why am I crap? Why am I suddenly crap now? Yeah, no, I see what we've got to do. That one's easy to work out, to be honest. No, tell nine-year-old me that. Ow! I feel like the smarter move is probably enhancing our armor first, but... I just want to enhance this just so I can say it's done, it's over with, now I can focus purely on the armor and gauntlets. It feels weird looking at that um, that door there, just because, um, and I hadn't really actually talked about this. I recently, because um, over the past couple of years, I've been getting into Dungeons and Dragons, and I recently, um, I no, I recently actually DM'd my first game, and it was an Onimusha one shot. Believe it or not, I. I literally built an entire one-shot campaign and made it Onimusha themed. And, uh, you know, I took a few familiar gimmicks from a couple of the games. Like, I used that um, that door. Yeah, I had to find the gold skull. I used the, uh, the wooden floor panel puzzle from Onimusha Warlords. I made all homebrew monsters from familiar Genma. Hell, I, I made the final boss of the campaign. I made Marcellus. Yeah, I've been uh, setting that up for the past, for a good few months, while I was also doing my Kaijiro what if, and a couple of weeks ago now, I finally um, went ahead with it with a few friends, and it went well, surprisingly enough, which worried me, to be honest, because, you know, my first attempt at actually DMing a game, not really, I wouldn't recommend doing it with a homebrew game. But yeah, that's uh, that's something I've done. That's something else I was work I've, I've been working on for a while as well. Nope, nope. This elevator is taken. Please wait. We're not going to be doing the Dark Realm, I will say that. Because much like uh, Warlords, I'm not confident. Especially when it comes to doing the one that gives us the ultimate whip and the Bishman Sword. Not happening. Okay, Dark Puppet. Something else I also included in, my own, in, my, in the D&D one-shot. I think this is just kind of going to show how legitimately obsessed I am with this series. It is concerning. I'm going to do the critical training as well. I always do it with Samonosuke. For some reason I feel more comfortable doing it with Samonosuke, but... We'll do it with Shock because he actually... Well, because there we go. It's not that the timing's different. I think it's a subconscious thing. I don't know why. 
I don't know why this one's on easy. Oh, okay, that's why he's on easy. <laughs> well, do something. Okay, Gus one. Damn it. Nice. Okay, the gacha. This guy's really awkward, I will be honest. We might be here a while. Got him! There we go. Okay. And this is this is where we may have to spend quite a bit of time, because this is this is this is not fun. Oh, nice. Okay. Ah. Okay. Okay. Ooh, okay, that's big. That is big. Ah. Can you stop doing that, please? That's all I wanted. Lovely. Ah, no, not two, not two of them. Please, not, not two of them at the same time. <sighs> nice! First try! Okay! I'm surprised. I'm surprised how quickly I managed to crit those Dordos. The Zmo tend not to take as long for me. But him just slapping me back and forth was not helping. <laughs> yeah, like I said, we're probably we're not going to use the black vest because it will just trivialize the entire game. And, that, and at that point, what's the point of doing a whole uh, doing a normal sword run? What's the point of a challenge run when one item completely removes the challenge? Okay, Ranmaru, let's go. Ow! Ah! Quit being awkward and please come back onto the screen where I can see you. Ooh. Okay, a tidy chain there. Easy! That's what I mean. That particular fight is honestly easy. And that is why I'm able to kill him with Heihachi as well. Right, okay, well that's Ranmaru done. Right, let's save it here. And just take a break. Because like I said, unfortunately today, things are a little hectic. But yeah, and uh, we'll come back, uh, I don't know, another time. Okay, new day. Uh, where are we? We got the... Right. It's only been one day. I've already forgotten where the hell I'm supposed to be. It feels weird. Normally by this point, I'm already using the black vest. It's, it's become, honestly, an unfortunate habit. There we go. That's all we want. Just break his armor. He took my kill! Hey, nice! Now we got a... Finally, one decent chain. I spent way too much time in that one corridor. Let's hope this doesn't become a pattern. I think at some point, maybe I'll do a run where every power jewel or magic jewel goes straight to Jacques. I have done a run where I've done the opposite, and uh, Samonosuke's final um, Onimusha health bar is massive. Yeah, I know. I knew he was going to go for his charge. He, they always go for their charge when you um, when you absorb. A lot of enemies seem to have predetermined behaviours. I think probably the most infamous would be in Onimusha 2 with the Bazoo. They will always, always try and roll at you when you absorb. Oh, easy. How is that easy? Normally that's not easy. I'm probably only going to use the normal arrows. I, I very rarely change arrow types, to be perfectly honest. Oh, nice. Okay, it's just getting used to him. Nice. Okay, I need to practice crits on the um, on the Dordos and the Dordio as well. But I'm sun I'm slowly feeling like I'm getting the hang of it. Whoa! I don't know what I don't know why it just randomly kind of chugged there. That never happens. It's always when I'm trying to record that suddenly I get frame drops, which is weird. A bit annoying, too. I imagine, though, to be perfectly honest, it's because we've got the HD remaster. I got a decent PC, but by today's standards, it's average. So maybe it's just occasionally having issues. I got eight stacks. Is that enough to... Oh, I didn't... Oh, wait, no, I can't. I do have a higher only bind level. Hang on a second. Oh no, I can't. The only whip only goes to level one. 
Oh, okay. I, I, I'm getting mauled. There we go. That's all I wanted. I don't think 11 is going to be enough, but it's worth a shot. Oh, no, actually, no, we're good. It only takes 10. That's a surprise. Okay, we are max defense now. I should probably upgrade something here. Because I've spent all of Samonosuke's souls on his weapons. Weapons that I can't use. Okay. Funny, when I was a kid and I first played this game, that one bit where you have to um, you know, absorb the darkness to open to be able to get through the door again. I didn't know what I was supposed to do there. Well, not that I didn't know what I was supposed to do. It's that I tried to do it and it didn't work. So... I, I worked out what I was supposed to do, but I think I was just at a really awkward angle where I was just out of range and it just didn't work. So I was sitting there stuck, not sure what to do for weeks until eventually I tried it again and it worked and I wasn't happy. And we've got Filoni now. We have full Devil Trigger. I know it isn't Devil Trigger, but... It's kind of a running joke that we see a fair few games with very, very similar mechanics, so we just keep calling it Devil Trigger. And I say that like I have a long history of Devil May Cry as well. I really don't. To be perfectly honest, it wasn't until Christmas 2022 that I finally played my um, Devil May Cry in full. I had played the, the DMC reboot before then, so that actually was my first Devil May Cry game, which I know a lot of people would consider to be sacrilege. Because everybody hates the DMC reboot. I... I... I suppose I came in... You know, I mean, I understood that... I understood people don't like it, and I understand why as well. But... As a standalone game, I had fun with it. You know, the game is not really a good Devil May Cry game, but it is a... It, but it's a good standalone game. But yeah, I finally... on It was on stream, I... Uh, I ended up playing through every Devil May Cry game one after the other, except for two, because two is crap. So, right now, that is actually the only game, the only Devil May Cry game I haven't played. And I've seen enough gameplay to know it's not a good game. At all. Oh, nice! Okay, I am slowly improving against these guys. The most consistently I've managed to crit the Dordos. Ooh! Okay, apparently I'm not bad. Okay, we never need to use this again now. The only time we're going to have to change weapons now is once we reach uh, Bulong Zoo. Yellow Vest. This is what I was talking about yesterday. As Michelle, it is really damn good. The souls don't last very long when they spawn, but with the assault rifle, it spawns so many. Like, after two full bursts, absorb and you get like a 300 bonus. There's so many. Okay, coming up for the Gertrude fight. They don't need to change weapons for Jacques anymore either. We've already done what he needs to do. In fact, the only thing we need to do with Jacques is upgrade his gauntlet to level 3. Gertrude, let's go! Okay, this is going to be tough as hell, I suspect. Okay, at least we can still make him crash. I have, uh, at least once, I have no damage this fight. Because honestly, especially with the Fireflies here... It's, it's not that hard to be able to pay attention to his attacks. They are rather telegraphed. No, I try... Ah, I think I was stuck in animation. I tried to use the Firefly. Yeah, we're going to be here a while. Ooh, armor crack. We got progress. I'm going to armor crack. Okay. At least we can say we are doing something here. Nope. Oh, we got him! Okay. It's going to be a lot harder with Samonosuke. I mean, I will admit I'm, I'm happy. Even with just the only whip, we only took one hit. And that was because I got greedy. So, my own fault. Come on. Come on. Okay, yeah, I can. So I only went back to quickly look, because I can remember in earlier versions of um, PCSX2, I think it was probably 1.6, the water wasn't rendered, so you couldn't see how close it was, and how close you were to drowning. Right, so Undersea Temple done for Jacques, now let's uh, finish up with Samonosuke. I say that like there is actually something we need to do, but it's just 
go into a room, have a cutscene play, and then we go on to Michelle. In fact, I may as well just swap to the yellow vest now. I see, I think. I do see! Aha! Power jewel, lovely. I'll be fine. You are a damn Stop brat. It. Oh, I can still see you. <laughs> Again, another casualty of the widescreen hack. Gun! Gun! Actually, thinking about it... Yeah, we'll use the assault rifle as well. Ow! Anyway, I was going to say, I can crit with this thing. I know I can. Oh god, it's making me think now. I've got the two Dordos to fight. I, I got... Then again, I got the grenades. I got the grenades, so that should be okay. No! There we go. I don't know why that counted as a crit, but I'll take it. Hey! And we got grenades back. I'll take it. There we go. Just make it easier. I feel like this right here was Guildenstern's biggest mistake. Why didn't he just have Samanosuke killed? Just get it out of the way. And there we go. Problem solved. Okay, and now we have the yellow vest. Let us have... There we go. Let's have a little uh, guinea pig. And that's what I mean. Ah. I got stun locked. And that's when you see how fast it builds up the souls. Who needs crits when you can use the yellow vest? The birds are quite frustrating to hit just because of how much their knockback is. And they keep getting knocked off target. Just because I like using the yellow vest doesn't mean I'm not going to crit. I'm not going to spawn the, um, the Zmo. I'm just going to grab the items and go. Because I've already wasted enough time trying to get souls. In fact, I probably shouldn't even get the, get the sniper here because I'm not going to use it. Oh, okay. No, 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 this isn't the sewers. Oh, there we go. Problem solved. No, give me... Ah. Monsters. It wouldn't let me have the item. I don't know what it dropped. Though, to be fair, not that it matters either way, because it's not like I can transfer anything to Samonosuke or Jacques from Michelle. Which is a shame. We only actually use her one more time, and she doesn't even have Arco at that point. Ow. And that double ow. Okay, at least the, the Nuravis is down. And he's done. Okay. Was he hiding in the rafters? He just taped himself to the ceiling waiting. Okay, and that's what? What was that? 11? 13 stacks of souls. We can finally have a level 2 gauntlet. Right, level 2 gauntlet. It's a shame we can't do any charge attacks because normal sword. I mean, at least Shark can do a level 1, but... Up in the gauntlet level doesn't really help. And level 3 armor. Perfect. Not me already forgetting we've got the yellow vest on. I switch back to blue. Although... I want to test something a second. I can't believe I never thought of this earlier, but I want to try something out. If this works, then potentially this could be a, a really, really good source of souls. Oh my god, it works. So what I'm doing is... So, 10 point slash. When you're doing a 10 point slash, every time you land a successful hit, a soul pops out. I wanted to see if that stacks with the, with, the, um, with, the, with the yellow vest. And it does. I never actually thought of that, and I really wish I did. Ah, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm getting sandwiched. It might not be the most effective way to get souls, but I just like that. That's a, that, that's a cool thing. Though, crits are probably the most ideal way, so... We'll keep it on for now, just because I really like it. I feel like I'm discovering stuff. After 20 years... Oh, wow. It's only hitting me now. Because, yeah, okay, it's February, so maybe we're a few months out. But this game is 20 years old. There are people born at the same time that this game was released, and they're adults now. Oh, oh. Okay. We managed to end that on a crit. Ow. <laughs> oh, nice. Actually got the crit. Okay. I need the practice. It's still weird knowing that, you know, you'd think I have. But I have never done a crit only run on any Onimusha game. 
Perfect. And Oni Jewel. I don't need Oni Jewels here. But like I said before, at least we can get them without having to rely on RNG. We got lucky on the Oni Musha 2 run. Okay. I'm not going to upgrade Samonosuke's weapons now that I think about it. Because then we're going to go... Because if we don't, then we're going to go into the Nobunaga fight with the Stop. weakest Oni Musha sword. Monster. Why am I suddenly bad at this? Oh, wow. I didn't know that. I've never actually done that in this fight. I've never tried to actually knock the fireballs back in this fight. I thought they could just go straight back to the Dark Puppet. That is a really cool detail. Okay, I'm gonna have to I should probably heal just to be safe. You missed! We might be... Ooh, I think he's getting desperate because he's now trying to spawn two of them. Ooh, hang on, that's an idea. Okay, this is not going to plan at all. Ooh, there we go, that's what I wanted. Ah, he was he was too high. Oh, there we go. We could try and chain into him. At least we're getting yellow souls out of Gildenstern. Did I create Gildenstern specifically? I have never seen that. I cr wait, why does that create? I'm confused. I actually crit Gildenstern specifically. I didn't chain into him. And for some reason, I could crit him while he was permanently stunned. I don't really know what to think about that, to be honest. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna want to remember that. Not that I'm gonna be able to pull that off again. Not consciously, that was pure luck. Right, um, let's switch back to blue because we don't need any souls. I mean, Jacques might, but it won't take long. So let's just keep going. We got a fight against Heihachi as well right now, and that's not gonna be hard. It's literally just the same strat as before, except it's just 1v1, which honestly makes it easier. Easier to crit at least, because now we don't have Samonosuke getting in the way. I, I got three... How many times did I manage to deflect that? There we... I was literally just mashing the block. I mashed L1 until it until it was a deflect. Oh, okay, I see you. Hiding in a bush over there. I think if I ever do uh, try a, crit a critical mode run... It's going to be just to, um, it, it, we're going to use the black vest because I'm going to get my ass kicked otherwise. Instant. Again, shows how much I've played these games. I know the timing. There you go. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, he's dead. Okay. Didn't go to plan at all. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea that once Arco's gone, both Jacques and the Gamma just kind of sit there waiting, just twiddling their thumbs. They're just sitting down, like, playing chess the whole time, waiting for Arco to come back, and then when she does, suddenly... Okay, yeah, we got to kill each other now. Okay, this is going to be a really, really difficult enemy to bring down. Because he's... This, this guy's tanky. Plus, he's got that to screw with close-range attacks. Ah, no, don't knock me into him. Oh, that works. That works. That works just fine. Crit is grab. Nice. Funny enough, as a kid, this stumped me as well for a little bit. There are a lot of moments in this game where I was stumped. But I think the issue I had with this is that I, I could see the pattern Sun, Moon, Star. But what I thought you had to do was do Sun, Moon, Star... The first one, and then obviously, because you've got to do it three times. Second time, you do Moon, Star, Sun, Moon, Star, Sun, and then you do Star, Sun, Moon. I couldn't understand why that wasn't working. In fact, hang on a second. I'm going to try this out right now. So, hang on. Star, Sun, Moon. Uh, Star, Sun, Moon. Star, Sun, Moon. Star, Sun, Moon. Oh, wait, that works. That actually works? Because I did that as a kid. I think the issue I had was... Whatever you step on, the next one ha the next uh, panel you step on has to be adjacent. And quite often I'll go like star sun, you know, star sun, moon, 
star, sun, moon, and then I move all the way over here and hit that one, and then it would suddenly stop working. I think that's the issue I had. But I never thought that would work. I thought it now. I thought, because for years, I've always done yeah, sun, moon, star. I didn't know you could change it about like that. I'm learning a lot of stuff here. I just thought I need to do this Dark Realm because I need to get the purple vest. We'll get the orange vest, we'll head back and we'll do the Dark Realm because this is going to be painful. I think we just need to do Jacques Dark Realm. We don't need to do Samanosuke's. Okay, let's do this. So that chest we don't need to worry about. There we go. Okay, how am I consistently critting that? So, we just want to get to the bottom, we just want to get the purple vest, and then we can move on. Wait, do I have to do, do Samonosuke? Am I wrong? Have I been wrong this whole time? Am I going to have to scour the entire Dark Realm for this? Ah! Ah, too much at once! Too much at once! Ah! Ah, they're too low to the ground! Ah! Oh no, I need to do Samonosuke! I did this for nothing! Oh god, there's two of them now! They do not stop! <sighs> Got him! Okay, so I wasted my time here. One thing that is absolutely certain is that once we free all of the slaves, there's no way we're going to be able to save them all. They, they, we, already, we already lost one of them. Right, we gotta do. Uh, <laughs> we've gotta do the dark realm with Samonosuke now. Right, let's do all the necessary stuff first, and then we'll do the dark realm. Yeah, this is the one spot where PCSX2 doesn't work properly. It's supposed to be a really weird ass filter over this. Uh, okay, yeah, this is this is problematic. We're gonna be okay. No. Okay, you're dead. Lovely. Ah, no. He's draining my health? Is that because I don't have magic? I've never seen him do that. Ow. Nice. Ooh, okay. Okay. That we can just run. I always end up just killing everything, so it never occurred to me that I could just take the key and run. Alright, enough waffling about. Come on. Take me there, cocoon man. There are a lot of games that I've wanted to play, but I never... I, I start them for about an hour or two, and then just never come back to them. Not because I don't like them, but because I stop and... I don't know. I think it's just I, I then get back to doing what's familiar to me. Maybe this is why the Genma lose all the time. They can't help but murder each other. Okay, that's all we wanted. Just one deflect. I ended up critting the fireball as well. I do wish it wasn't blinding white for every transition, because that hurts my eyes. It really does. I have bad eyes. If the glasses didn't give that away. Ooh! I think I got. F I think I caught four of those in one hit. Satisfying. Okay, I'm just gonna try and go straight down the bottom. I'm not. I'm not trying to go through every floor. Ah, problems. Ah, there we go. Okay. Ah, too much at once. Too much at once. There we go. Okay. That's all I needed. No. 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 Please. Okay. Purple vest. There it is. Nice! Okay, we can leave now. We don't need to be here anymore. I'm pretty sure I spent like about half an hour just on a Dark Realm. Since we got them, we might as well use them. And I'm pretty sure it is going to give us um, another statue charm. So we can always use one of those, especially for the late game bosses. Nobunaga is going to be nightmarish. Much like Onimusha 2, I fully expect at least one death against Nobunaga. Samonoski's Nobunaga will be fine. It's just the Jacques fight. Uh, I'm not even that worried about Vega Donna because she, because for a late game boss, she doesn't have as much health as you would expect. And you're dead. Lovely. Still less awkward to fight than the Garahone in Onimusha 2. All right, how many do we think we're actually going to save? Because it ain't going to be many. Ah, 
Okay, one of them died, I think. Ah. Oh, you're dead as well. <laughs> we knew that was going to happen. It's surprisingly hard to save everybody when you're not, like, critting or using magic. Oh, no, okay, he killed it. He's trying to go for me, I think. We have managed to save literally nobody. Are we the baddies? Well, no, we're not the baddies. We're just really bad at our job. Don't be alarmed. I've come to help. I, I don't think we have. <laughs> at least we're nearly done with Mont Saint Michel now. Because this was probably always one of my least favorite areas. Nowadays, it's not so much. Well, I think nowadays it still is one of my least favorites, but it's more in a sense, so not of it's like the most bad, but just the least good. I don't know why I'm going for all the eco spirits, because it's not like I'm using any of the vests anymore. I don't know, maybe I'll use the orange vest, because we've got them all, so purple is obviously useless. Black makes it too easy. White is a bit too, I don't know, a bit too time wasty. Green, eh, too risky. Red, also too risky, because that means we get no healing or magic. Magic's not so bad, but healing we need. No, I, okay, no, this is just awkward. There we go. That's... Oh, I missed the item. Yeah, that's just really awkward to do, so... I think it wasn't until recently that I realised that how wrong I was about the Zagats. Whenever they spawn, they, they come down like that. For some reason, as a kid, I always used to think they came down, like, on a web, like a spider. But no, they just... That's, that's the sound of them kind of hooking their blades into the walls as they come... As they slide down. I, w I was an idiot when I was a kid. Then again, I'm not that much better now. There's one thing I actually want to try. Once we, we, we've we finished this um, and we come back to Jacques, I want to try something quickly. All right, Michelle's back, and as much as I would like to use another gun, we're going to stick with the assault rifle because, you know, we'll, we'll keep the challenge going for Michelle as well. Even though I did use the shotgun for a couple of enemies at the first time, but they just never really occurred to me. Then again, if we do remember, we in when we did this challenge in Warlords, we tried to we tried to extend it to Kaiadair, only to discover you can't kill the mole boss unless you use the sacred knife. You can damage it, but the final hit has to be with the sacred knife, otherwise it cannot die. Where is Henri? Did did he find a did, did he find a penny on the floor? It's only just occurred to me that Michelle doesn't have any yeah, Michelle has no statue charms or anything, so um, we should probably be a bit careful. Okay, we're good to go. I mean, at least we don't have to worry about Henri taking hits. But my god, he could keep up. He's the one that wants to come here in the first place. I could probably do it with my eyes closed, but I'm not going to risk it and mess it all up. Okay, no, I'm just... No, I need to stop. I need to, I need to stop. I need to stop. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not trying to be cocky. Besides, I did get humbled very recently when I tried to play through this on hard mode. It turns out that the combination is different in hard mode, and I died. <laughs> Which, honestly, I kind of deserved. Okay, we're done. You know what? We don't need to fight these guys. We are moving on to... Ooh, it's Gertrude. Okay, this is going to be a lot tougher because we don't have an only Firefly to, um, to use. Oh, okay. He does a full, like, 90 degree turn there, so... Why am I trying to kick him? No, 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 no. Bad, 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 bad. Okay, no. We, okay, we broke out. We broke out. That's one of the very few times I've ever managed to do that. Ah. No, I'm stuck on the ground. Wait, hang on. If I let this happen... No. For some reason, I was thinking Monster Hunter logic of while you're on the ground, you have iframes. I just realised that this is the first time I've noticed that... Every single break in its armor has been reset. Normally, if you break armor in the first fight as Jacques, they, those breaks carry over to the second fight. They haven't this time. I know I didn't break much, but I did break two pieces of armor. Yeah, this is going to be a long fight. Ah, okay. I was kind of blocked in there. No, that's cheating. That's cheating. I, I can't even open the pause menu when I'm frozen. This guy's... this... Oh, we actually broke an armor piece there. Oh, that's another break. Oh, that's another break. We are making very slow but actual progress. 
No, I, I, I got trapped. Oh, no, we're fine. We're fine. Part of me wants to see if that, that claw swag. I want to see if I can crit that. Ooh, crit! First time I've ever crit Gertrude. God, this is going to be a long fight. I think I actually have to break most of his armor before I win. Oh, nice. Head armor's gone. Nice. Okay. Yeah, he definitely flinches a lot easier when he's lost his armor. Ooh, okay. I crit. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. That's a surprise. Ah, okay. No, that's me being stupid. Finally, he goes down. Couldn't crit him to death, but I did land a couple. So that's something. That's a first for me. Gertrude is down. Let's uh, let's go back to Jack. Right. I said there was something I wanted to quickly try, purely because. Um, somebody was data mining this game a while ago and found what appeared to be unused um, voice lines for... Oh, never mind. We can't leave. Yeah, there's um, there's voice lines for the, uh, for the Mino that takes you to the Dark Realm of him effectively refusing to do it. And I basically put out a bit of a theory that maybe they, that, that maybe they could be used during a point where one character can access the Dark Realm while the other can't. Ah I'm literally corner trapped here. He had invincibility frames? Oh wow, that worked. How the hell did Jacques even survive the fall, to be honest? I'm pretty sure he was above the cloud layer and there is no way he didn't reach terminal velocity. You know what? Let's just not question it. I'm going to save here as well, because there is one bit that I am worried about that I have actually died to while... Be, not not just while using the Black Vest, but purely because I used the Black Vest. And that's the last section where you're dragging yourself on the ice. And because I was using the Black Vest, I kept trying to crit, but all the birds were the ones that had the fireflies, so I couldn't hit them. So I just kept crashing into the icicles and then dying. In fact, I think it's the only time I've ever failed the section, is when I'm using the Black Vest. Ah, someone else, okay, help me! Okay, thank you. Oh, wow! Okay, that's a hell of an opener. Okay, when it comes to this part of the game, the whole Lake Biwa, Azuchi Castle section, that is the only bit that I, I was worried about here. I will admit, it is just only dawning on me now that we're nearly... We're not far from the end of the game. We just got... We just got to do Azuchi Castle. We've got... The Eiffel Tower to do, and then it's just Nobunaga twice. And we're done, lovely. I know here is where a secret Dark Realm is supposed to be for Jacques, but that's only on... I don't know if it's on hard mode, but I know it's on devilish mode. Ah! The camera angle's not helping. Ah, no, sod it. Just to make it easier on me. Having two of them at the same time is a bit much without magic, thank you. This, as a kid, was always my absolute favourite part of the game, without fail. I think what I enjoyed the most was using uh, the ma Raisin's magic attack just to electrocute massive groups of zombies. The arrows are a bit annoying, I will admit. Oh god, no, there's too many of them, there's too many of them! There's too many, I'm getting, I'm getting overwhelmed. Okay, I don't need to do this, it's just fun. So let's just... We should probably move on before I get too distracted. Okay, away from the fun bit. As much as I really, really enjoy that. Okay, right. We move on. Let's... I have got to fight Marcellus, don't we? Marcellus, then Vega. Marcellus, I'm honestly worried about more. Just because of how long it took to bring him down earlier. Okay, I think I see what I need to do. There we go. That's what I need to do. And Marcellus, here we go. Oh, am I getting him... I, th I thought I got him stun locked there. I don't like how we're on slanted ground. I keep missing. Ah, damn it. I want to save the, the, the good items for once we reach Nobunaga. That is the only fight I am, like, gen... Oh, ow. That's the only fight I'm legitimately worried about. Ow, why did I try and hit triangle? Nope. Oh, no, okay, I, I wanted to use a magic attack, but I screwed up the timing. 
Oh, he's down. Lovely. Okay, Marcellus is down. Only meds. Okay, we, we can't use those. Can we convert them? What's the exchange rate? Okay, let's do this. Whoa, oh, okay. I've never seen that. Oh, oh, wait, I hit her. I did hit her. Okay, just knocked her straight off. Ah, I don't like the camera angles. Ah, trying to, I'm trying to time so I can crit. That's where m most of my damage is going to come from. Okay, maybe I should be worried about Vega. This is what I mean. Just keep doing this and she can't really do anything. I'm not damaging her, but... Oh, nice, knocked her off. I don't, think I've ever I don't think I've ever done that. Ah, can you stop being difficult, please? And by that, I mean uncooperative. I'm not asking the game not to give me a challenge. Oh, there we go. Knocked her ass off. Ah. She's doing a Munanori. Oh, no, I could have got her there. I could have got her. I could have got her, but I, ah, I missed the timing. Okay, this might take a while. The problem right now is the fact that... I know when we're still only on phase one of the fight. Because phase two, she starts spawning like a, a copy. There we go. Finally got a crit. That took way longer than it should have. Oh, there, there it is. Ah, problem, problem. Problem. Okay, at least the copy doesn't last very long. There we go. Knock her off. I really just go straight back on. I kind of need to fish out her hits just to try and get a crit. That's where the most of my damage is going to come from. There we go. There we go. We got it in the end. That was really tough. Okay, at least we still have. We still got a decent amount of healing. Right now we move on to the Eiffel Tower. This is going to be tricky. This is going to be real damn tricky. Honestly, the Ranmaru fight worries me. I missed! How did I miss? How in, how on earth did I miss that? I think this is probably my least favourite part of the game. Just climbing the stairs with all, with all these loose time folds. No, no, no. Oh, okay. N I nearly crit my way straight into that. Okay, we've got Brainstorm now. Oh, without bashing the table. This fight wouldn't be so bad were it not for the fact that um, we got time... Not, not time folds, just distortions on the ground. It'd be nice if they hurt him as well, but no. Okay, that's his gun's gone, so phase two. Oh no, he's going full Beyblade again. Ah, okay, this is way too small for this. The angle's not helping me see what his attacks are either. Okay, Brainstone's down. So these distortions that keep popping up are getting annoying. <laughs> and because I got a crap sword. All right, this is going to take a while. There we go, finally. Saonosuke, your sword is crap. Okay, we're halfway up. At least I'm pretty sure this is a halfway mark. Ah! <laughs> that would be one hell of a way for Saonosuke to die on his way up. He's just running halfway across and just a piece of debris flattens him out of nowhere. Just like that. There we go, the Genma have won. That was way too close. That was way too close. I nearly got caught in that. Ah. Oh, okay. Off you go, I suppose. Wait, where is she going? Where is she going? She's just flying off. I, I'd say into the sunset, but it's night time. She is still going. The <laughs> okay. Disappearing into the night sky. He's just way too far away from me now. I've never seen that before. Dordio. Oh, I actually have to kill it. I, get, I, I can't see. I'm corner trapped. Okay, he's down. Lovely. Honestly, this is the hard part for Samonosuke. We get through this, then that's it. The hard part for Samonosuke is over. Right, let's go! Ah, it's those charge attacks that catch me out. I really don't like the cam- Okay, is isn't. This is why I don't like the camera angles. I can't see what he's, what he's doing. 
Okay, nice. Not nice. You'd think because of the charge up, that'd be easier to react to. But you'd be surprised. He is just spamming it. Dude, drains your health so fast. Ah! Oh, he's dead! Really? That fast? I thought he had more health from... Why was that easy? That... Well, I say easy. We. It took nowhere near as long as I thought it would. Right, okay. I guess the hard part for someone else is over. It's just... We beat Nobunaga and we're done. This is this has been way less stressful than Oni 2, I have to admit. Okay, let's uh let's save. I mean I do suspect that our fight uh, the final fight with Nobunaga isn't gonna be as easy, purely and simply because the Onimusha sword is gonna be as weak as possible. And I'm doing that on purpose. Because the level of the Onimusha Sword is determined, is dependent on how many times you upgrade your weapons. It starts at level 1, and for every time you've upgraded one of your weapons, the Onimusha Sword will gain a level. So the very lowest that it can be is level 3, because you have to upgrade Tenso and Kuga once each. So that's two level ups, so it goes from 1 to 3. And that also means that the maximum it can be is level 7. Unless you get the Bisherman's Sword, at which point it maxes out. And it only applies to Samonosuke's weapons. So leveling up Jacques' weapons has no effect on it. Okay, Nobunaga, let's go. He blocks most of my attacks, that's the problem. Thing is, he's also the only boss that can actually crit you. He's the only enemy that, in this game that can crit... Oh dear, I need to get used to his attacks and... Um, I'm way too used to effectively going 100% on him. And by the time I'm, f I'm fighting him, I've got the, the ultimate whip. And you just spam the magic attack for that and you win. There we go, just shoot him. I do like how... Yep, it, it, there we go, he crits you. Funny how you can kick him and he doesn't block it. He actively takes it. No, that, ca that gets me every time. At least it doesn't do too much damage. Oh, nice. I shouldn't worry too much about healing, considering... This is this is our last fight as Jacques, so we can afford to use our talismans. Hang on, if I can try and bait out his fireballs. Ow, okay, N not like that. Nice. Okay, so that's something I can do. I can bait out his um, his charging stab, and that will let me hit him as well. Ha! Ah, I keep trying to block that. It's just muscle memory, even though I know it doesn't work. Okay, that was I had just like a couple of frames to, to make that work. Oh, what's going on? I'm actually landing a hit. It's like he's struggling now. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the, the orange vest. Okay, no, no. Secrets. Okay, I'm running out of healing here. Now, I, I'm hitting him, but it's not doing much damage. I kind of have to just kind of keep the pressure on with him. Ooh, nice. So it's when he starts using his sword like a whip that I think his attacks actually um, spawn yellow souls. Okay, at least I am landing hits. Not many. Well, I'm, I'm landing a few, but I'm not doing much damage. Ooh, nice. Okay, I'm getting... I'm slowly getting a bit of momentum. Nice! Okay, we're getting a bit of momentum here. Still not doing much damage, but we are hitting him. Oh, okay, his health's going down. We're nearly done. We're getting there. Ah, okay, no, we need to heal, need to heal. That's my last med. Okay, yeah, we're definitely doing damage now. Oh, he's letting, he's letting it happen. I can never see exactly how much damage he does because his cape always obscures it. Oh wow, the gun does decent damage. Go on. We we have to finish him with a gun. We shot him to death. Oh, that's tough. That is that is one of those fights you need to play patiently. All we had was our talismans, but we didn't use them. We used all the rest of our healing, but we still got him in the end. 
Yeah, that 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 was nowhere near as stressful as only two Nobunaga. That is oh, that is so difficult. All right, final battle. Let's go. Let's save it here just because we can. But I honestly think it's smooth sailing now, especially since um, we still have our healing stuff for Samonosuke. So we've only leveled these up once each. So our Onimusha swords should only be at level two. Level three. Sorry, level three. I love how Nobunaga just kind of stands off to the side and lets this happen. Right, um, yep, there we go. Level 3. So, again, that's because we've upgraded those once each. Two upgrades, two extra levels. And like I said, that does mean this is the, um, this is the weakest that the sword can be. Oh, there we go. There's the damage. True final boss. Let's go. Oh, we don't actually have Akko here either, so... No orange vest for us. Okay, that is the fastest I've actually done that. That is the fastest I've managed to, to make him flinch like that. I can't see. And back away, back away. Okay. Ooh, oh, I didn't realise that went that... F okay. There we go, nice. And we have Nobunaga's sword. Give him someone G. And that's also level 3. Phase 2, let's go. Actually, no, I say this is phase three. Nope. Thing is, I don't think you can actually block his attacks anymore. This you definitely can't block. Oh, he's doing it again. That's che ah no, you cheating. Oh, I think it's over. And we're done. Normal sword, only whip, only run, finished. Honestly, nowhere near as tough as Onimusha 2. That still remains the hardest one so far. And we got the proper ending because we got all the uh, we got all the vests. Okay, I am I am happy with that. It's only recently occurring to me right now that there's not really been an established limit to a Tengu's powers. Just out of nowhere, she's able to time travel. She's able to grow into a human size. She's able to immediately completely break down any language barrier there is. Telepathy and just free warping, as we've seen in the mangas. Arco could solo the entire Genma army. There we go. Decent amount of crits, to be fair. That's, that, that is over, that's at least 60% crits. So I'm happy with that. B rank, critical and speed, I'll take that. I mean, the crits were necessary given our weapon selection, but I'm happy with that. I am very happy with that. I'm pretty sure this isn't going to unlock anything anyway, but whatever. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching. That was, that was fun. I thought it'd be a bit tougher, to be perfectly honest. I really did, but I'm happy. That's all three Onimusha games beaten with only the basic weapon. So, yeah. And if you are a fan of Onimusha-based content, then be sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any more. I would very much appreciate it. I am working on other stuff, don't worry. Like I said before, I've got a what if going. I've finished the script. It's going to be a shorter one, so hopefully it's not going to take months to finish this time. And now that I'm not ill anymore, so, you know, that's a plus. I got a couple of other things in the works as well, which hopefully is, is worth getting excited about. One or two things I'm really hyped to get done. I know one is going to take a while, uh, purely because I don't have access to everything I need in order to get it done. But it's, it's, it's very slow going, which I will explain basically once the time comes. Once, once it's done, I will explain once the time comes, but... Don't worry, we've got other things in the works. So, thanks everyone for watching, and hopefully I will see you all next time. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Danish, out.